I don't know. I, you guys missed what was going on during the commercial break. I don't know that we can top that. No. I've got to read this cue card, and you guys have to shut up. So I, <laughs> all right? Where would we be without laughter? Well, this morning we're going to meet two men who make their living making us laugh. Please welcome Dr. Gonzo and Will Durst. Oh, oh God, God. God. Please welcome. Please, please, please welcome. Please welcome. Please, please welcome. Please, TLS, right? You know all our abbreviations. I don't know I'm going to survive this, this segment. Because I have serious questions to ask them, and I'm, I'm afraid of the answers I'm going to get. All right, first question. Being a comedian, to me, seems to be the toughest job in show business. You're a comedian? <laughs> It's not that tough, is it? No. See, you just See, I just laugh. made them laugh. Yeah, <laughs> no, actually, he made them laugh. It's timing. Yeah, that's tough. It's timing. It's scary. I mean, you get up there, and what if people don't laugh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear about what happens when they don't laugh. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, we do. It's one of the worst things possible, but, but you get past it. Eventually, everybody laughs a little bit. You, know? you just pretend it's not going to happen, and then sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, and if they still don't laugh, you get out of the business, right? A lot of people have been known to leave the business. Uh, <laughs> One way or the other. Yeah. <laughs> Gorilla arms. <laughs> Hooks, right? Yeah. <laughs> Trap doors. <laughs> How did you guys get your big break? Because both of you are, are very successful, at least here in the Bay Area, and somewhat successful nationally. Yeah. And what was your big break? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my leg right here. The, the <laughs> no, actually, we're, not, we're, we're kind of successful. I see myself kind of like on, on the same par is there are 20, 226 major league basketball players, and I'm like the 12th man on the Indiana Pacers. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Terrific. Yeah, I'm doing all right, but it yeah, could be better. Yeah. How do you measure your success? Oh, I, uh, I think my big break was um, Huey Lewis's manager saw me playing out at the park. I was doing a freebie right. for the homeless, and there were about 12,000 homeless people out there, and uh, we got along yeah, real well. Yeah, you have to do a freebie <laughs> for the homeless, yeah. We got along real well, and uh, they laughed, and I got off stage, and uh, the guy goes, uh, is this what you do for a living, or did you get lucky, or whatever? And I said, well, I've been getting paid for it in some places, you know, so they, uh, they took me out on the road for um, a tour, and I ended up doing like about 140 dates with Huey Lewis and the News across the country, just ah. as they were taking off. So I, I just grabbed their coattails and said, hey, I like this. Oh, that's wonderful. This is great. <laughs> number one album in the country, yeah. not bad. Not yeah, it bad. Wasn't, it wasn't too bad. But I've got to believe that standing up in front of 30,000 generally young people <laughs> who are there to listen to a rock group has not, is not very easy. We hate you! <laughs> we hate you! <laughs> those are the women. Yeah, those are the women. Whoa! <laughs> you won't ever fall for that again. Speaking of women... <laughs> 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 It, why do you wear this little tail? Well, you know, Terry. Do, do women come up to you and start? I, to <laughs> well, actually, I do it purely for it. Pull it, pull it. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my this is this is my my sole anti-convention. You know, when my dad thinks I'm looking okay, you know. <laughs> then you turn around. And I turn around and say, "Well, Dad, I got a little ways to go." Yeah. It's your turn. Oh, oh, this? Watch, watch this oh, this is just to annoy my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> it is. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> what is the absolute worst situation that you've ever run across on the air? Um, not on the air, but on a set. Oh, we could ask you the same. Uh huh. Yeah, don't ask me. I was, <laughs> I was working in a club in East San Jose, and they had, <laughs> they had a little, the dress code was on a paper plate. <laughs> that was taped to the front door, and the dress code included number seven was all knives must be sheathed. <laughs> <laughs> sheathed was spelled wrong, but it still was uh, It was a hideous gig. Uh, did they laugh? No. Oh. Not at all. Oh. Not once. <laughs> you, you did escape with your life, though. Oh, barely. Yeah. How about you? Oh, I've got a couple. One was opening for Blue Oyster Cult the first time. I thought it was a. I just thought it was another rock band. You know, I didn't realize their crowd had tattoos in their arms of like their upside down emblem and stuff. And a little dangerous, huh? Yeah, it was kind of rough. I mean, they yelled a lot of obscenities at me and stuff. I just dug my feet in and said, okay, you know, <laughs> give me your best. You know? and so I got a few ice cubes in a cup here and there. <laughs> but you know, I, I did my time, got paid, and got out of there. So. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, quick, quick. Yeah, exactly. Two things, two things, your integrity and your money. 
<laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> now, you guys talk about totally different things when you're up there. You do political satire, basically, don't you? Yeah, I do topical stuff, and politics is one of the things I'm most interested in. But we do cross over at music, because we both talk about MTV, current oh. music, and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. yeah, mine's mostly sex, drugs, rock and roll. Well, you, gee, I wonder why. Hey, they're 14 years old. That's what they know, you know. Oh, it's, um, my gosh. It's, it's that, I'm sorry, but you that's... You can't what, do driving you know, can't, jokes. They don't drive. Yeah, and you can't... <laughs> segways, who needs them? <laughs> They've got no attention span, usually, so it's a lot of fun for me to just go out and go... Da -da -da -da, pow, you know, they, and it, you get... It's cheer comedy in a rock scene. They don't laugh. They cheer. You go, hey, did you ever just, you know, pile into your car and drive into a wall, see who lives? And they go... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Isn't but they like, they like that, you know? I play, I'll, I'll, you ever take a 22 and shoot your toes off and get a 10? <laughs> you know, You're I, kidding me. No, I don't. That, that is awful. Yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me if I'd open for Andy Williams earlier, so I... I <laughs> I'd go see you if you opened for Andy Williams. Okay, okay. <laughs> My mom would go see me if I opened for Andy Williams. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Well, I know you guys uh, have fun in your jobs, and one of the things that you do quite a bit is, is do benefits. In fact, you were both on the telethon yesterday, and we want to thank you so much for doing that for Perhaps us. Perhaps when people don't pledge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the same as when they don't laugh, you know. It's, it's terrible. But you're doing... <laughs> you're doing a benefit tonight and on the 27th for a special cause. Tell me. It's for the... The terrible thing that happened at the Sun Valley Mall. Right. Everybody right. knows the plane hit, and uh, there's a couple of kids who are still... You know, yeah. yeah. So what we're doing is we're doing a benefit. It's a comedy benefit. Uh, we laugh so other people uh, don't feel the pain. And it's going to be held at Trace Ombres, which is in Concord, uh, Concord right on Willow Pass. Willow Pass Road. And right. there's one this Monday tonight mm -hmm. at 8 o'clock. It's $15 and it includes a buffet. And there's one next Monday night. Right. And for information, call area code 415 825 26 that's 825-2626, a really good cause. And as you can see from the example sitting here, you'll have a wonderful time. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. Ah! Yeah, we'll be back with more in a minute. <laughs>